Hi everybody, Dr. Ellis here. In this short video, we're going to talk about the major important parts of the long bones of your body. When we talk about a long bone in your body, these are most of the major bones you think of when you think of the skeleton. So my image over here shows me what the humerus looks like. Another major long bone would be the femur or the radius and the ulna. Every time we look at a long bone, the first part we'll probably notice of it is this long internal portion called the diaphysis. So the diaphysis is a fancy word for the shaft or the long part of the bone. When we look inside the shaft of a long bone, notice how on the edges of the diaphysis, we see this very thick bony layer on both sides. The shaft of the bone, the diaphysis of the bone, has a lot of compact bone tissue in it. And as we'll talk about soon, compact bone tissue is very strong bone tissue. Compare that to the two ends of a long bone. The ends of a long bone are known as epiphyses. In the middle of the epiphyses, the ends of the bone, notice that these regions are filled with spongy bone tissue. As we mentioned in the previous video, red bone marrow helping us to make red blood cells. This actually lives inside spongy bone tissue. So the epiphyses, the ends of your bones, with spongy bone have space for bone marrow. I'll mention as a quick reminder, this word proximal and distal. Remember that anytime we're talking about something that's on a limb, an arm or a leg, we're always going to use this terminology to describe parts of it. So the proximal epiphysis is the part that's closest to, in this case, the shoulder, or in other cases, the hip joint. The distal epiphysis, what's farther away from the shoulder or from the hip joint. So we've talked about the shaft of the bone, the diaphysis, and the two ends of the bone, the epiphyses. When we look inside the diaphysis, the shaft of the bone, you'll notice that there's an open space inside. That open space is called the medullary cavity. And in adults, the medullary cavity is filled with yellow bone marrow, like we see here. In children, that marrow would actually be red. Covering the inside of the medullary cavity in the middle of the diaphysis of the bone, we have a connective tissue layer called the end osteum. End means inside. Osteum means bone. The end osteum is a connective tissue layer that lines the very middle of the medullary cavity. It has a lot of blood supply. It's helping my bone tissue there along uh, the medullary cavity to get the oxygen and nutrients it needs. On the outside of bone to of a compact, uh, uh, excuse me, of a long bone, we also have a connective tissue layer. This one is called the periosteum. Peri means around. So my connective tissue on the outside, the periosteum, my connective tissue on the inside, the end osteum. One other thing that we see on the ends of our long bones is what we call articular cartilage. So I see that both on the distal end and on the proximal end. The articular cartilage helps me to form articulations, which is a fancy word for joints. So the only part that we see in an adult bone that's made out of cartilage these two ends. Otherwise, we're seeing a lot of spongy bone in my epiphyses and a lot of compact bone in my diaphysis.